Bolton this year have performed really goddamn well, finishing fifth in the league, making the playoffs. But Barnsley ended their dreams of promotion in the playoffs as they lost 2-1 to them in the semi-final. But today, I'm going to change all of this as I've become Bolton's new manager, and by the end of this video, I will make them the best team in the world. So this is the team I've loaded into, and Bolton need a lot of work. But they do have some star players like Morley, Charles, and also our fullback Bradley. It's a real mixture of both youth talent and experience literally bundled together. But our biggest problem is half of our best players are currently on loan to us from the bigger clubs. Including Connor Bradley, I can't lie, that's a kick in the teeth. But before we do anything, we're sorting this formation out. There's no way I'm rocking with five at the back. Now, given the players, they've got the 4-3-1-2 is spot on. They've got a couple of cams, a couple of strikers, no wingers. It's absolutely spot on for Bolton. And with just a simple formation change, the team actually, in my opinion, does look a hell of a lot better. But starting to see someone, we've only got three million to spend, so obviously there's not a really a great deal we can do with that. Now, instead of outsourcing players from other teams, I'm going for our low knees and seeing who I want to bring in on a permanent deal. And first up is Shola Shortire. He's 63 rated at only 18 years old. If we put him on the right development plan, we can turn this guy into an absolute monster. Now, we've only got 3 million to spend and his market value is only 1 million, so we're going to have to be very smart about this. I'm going to try and be very cheeky and offer them 3 quarters of a million just to see if they'll go for that. They want 850. You know what? That's 150 below their market value, that's sound with me. And we have officially completed our first signing and show the short tire for 850000 And the next loanee I'm bringing in on a permanent deal is Luke Mbete from Man City. He's 18 years old and 63 rated. And just like short tire, if we put him on the right plan, we could turn this guy into a really good player. And he turned out to be even cheaper than short tire so we only had to spend 660000 But my plans for Mbete are slightly different to what you're probably thinking. I'm sending him on loan to get some experience and improve because he won't get game time ahead of the likes of Jones, Johnston and Santos. This way when he comes back we'll got a proper established centre back for just 660,000. And I think that does wrap up our transfer when it was we've only got 1 million left to spend. So this is the team going into our very first season in charge of Bolton Wanderers. Now you will have noticed I changed the formation to a 4 triple 2 This is because Short Eye won't get game time ahead of Lee. This way they both get game time and Short Eye will improve as a player. Now in real life Bolton finished 5th in the league so if we get anything less than that, I'd consider this season a massive failure. It's looking good, boys. We are fourth in the league after 27 games. We're only six points off second place Ipswich, too. So far, so goddamn good. And the stats so far are looking pretty good. 16 and 4 for Charles, and my mate Victor's got 12 and 2. But that doesn't change the fact we've only got 1 million to spend, and there's not a great deal we can do with that. But the Youth Academy has produced the goods with Reese Green and also Rowe. Reese Green, 16 years old, 60 rated. He's got a decent potential as well. I won't get in the start in 11 yet, but if we send him out on loan, he could come good. But Jacob Rowe is 69 rated at only 16 years old, got a very good potential. He'll definitely get in that start in 11 straight away. Now, apparently United have called back Shola Shortire off his loan move. Now, that's funny because last time I checked, he plays for us now. FIFA 23, you never cease to amaze me. But regardless of all that, this is the team going into the rest of the season and honestly, with how we're playing, I think we've got a very good chance of getting promotion. It's just a massive shame that Bradley and Trafford are going to be playing for us next year but we just couldn't afford to buy both of them on a permanent deal. But that's next year's problem. This season, however, we want promotion and I think this team can definitely do it. Promotion is still alive, boys. We are fourth in the league at the end of this season. We are in the playoffs alongside Sheffield Wednesday, Peter Britt and MK Dons. And after just getting past Peter Britt, we are now facing MK Dons in the final. We have a slight disadvantage with Williams being suspended for this game. We don't have our best left back in the biggest game of the season. It is Bolton. MK Dons, a final chance of promotion. Are we going to bottle it or... Oh my god, we've actually bottled it again. How did they do this in real life and in the game as well? MK Dons go up and we stay down. That is just unbelievable. I can't believe we finished higher than them in the League One table, but they get promoted, man. What kind of BS is that? The positive note, the team as a whole has massively improved, so hopefully next year we can get automatically promoted. And our strikers, Defo, know how to score with 25 and 6 for Victor, 21 and 5 for Charles, 10 and 8 for Lee, and 10 and 2 for our Youth Academy striker, Rowe. All in all, it has been a half decent season. We finished fourth and we got unlucky in the playoff final, but next year we need promotion no matter what. We're now in season two and we've got £8 million to spend this season. I can defo get us promoted with that money. And looking at the team, it's fairly obvious where we need to buy for. With Trafford and Bradley leaving, we now need a new goalkeeper and right back. And Bolton fans, please don't hunt me down, but Kieran Lee just would not 
renew his contract for any amount of money and I've had to release him on a free. Wasn't my decision, please don't come for me. So for that reason, we are reverting back to the 4-3-1-2 of one sole central attacking midfielder and three box-to-box -box midfielders behind him. And like I said, we need a new goalkeeper because Trafford's gone back to City, which is why Thomas Kaminsky is absolutely spot on. He's 30 years old, he's 74 rated, he's even better than Trafford and way more experienced. And for an experienced goalkeeper like Kaminsky, we only had to pay 2.3 million for him. And to replace Bradley at that right back position, I'm going for Cody Drama, who plays for Leeds United. He's 21 years old, 71 rated already. He's got less than 12 months on his contract. And because of that, we only had to spend 3 million on the dot for him. And I think that's the last thing we're doing is we've got literally less than 1 million left in our budget. Which means this is the team going into season 2 in our second season in League 1. And when I say second season in League 1, I mean last because there's no way I'm spending 3 seasons in this division. We have improved this team tremendously bringing in Drama and Kaminsky. They were better than their counterparts last year so surely this time we've got to get promotion. Well halfway through the season and it is looking pretty decent we are 4th in the league after 27 games. Now obviously there's still a long way to go yet but I'm hoping that we can creep up the table and get that automatic promotion. And stats wise our attackers are definitely doing their job. 16 for Charles, 13 and 5 for Rowe, 10 and 3 for Shortire and Victor with 9 and 4. Now we do still have 3 million to spend. And looking at the team our weakness is obviously Thomason and Dempsey in the midfield. But 3 million isn't going to get us two brand new players better than them pair so we've only got one option. I'm going into the free agents in the hopes I can find two players better than the ones we've already got. And would you look at who I've just found? Kevin Campbell. Granted, he is 33 years old, but I'm betting my bottom dollar he's better than any midfielder we've got. Don't let me down, Campbell. Be a good rating. He's 80 rated at 33 years old. Yeah, we've got a gold mine of a player here. And I have found another centre midfielder in Marcus Gomez, who's 22 years old. He's got some half decent stats. He's 2.6 million market value. I think he'd be better than the midfielders we've got already. And he is 71 rated. A massive upgrade in our midfield. And that is our transfer window no done and now the team looks like this. The addition of Gomez and Campbell in that midfield has massively bolstered the strength of this squad. And when you properly look at it, the team as a whole has massively improved as well. Put it this way, if we don't get promotion this year, there's something seriously wrong. We were so close to automatic promotion. We finished third in the league, two points behind second place Barnsley, but we are in the playoffs alongside Rotherham United, Swansea City and Wickham Wanderers. And we've got past Wickham Wanderers quite comfortably and we face Swansea in the final. We were in this exact same position last year and we bottled our chance of promotion to the championship. This year, are we going to do the exact same? Oh, we've done it, we've done it, we've done it. Thank God for that. We aren't in League One anymore. We are being promoted to the championship. It took us two seasons, but in my opinion, that's two seasons goddamn long. Now, I might be very bold in saying this, but a couple of very good signings next year, we could get back-to-back -back promotions. And these stats are really goddamn good. 28 and 6 for Victor, 23 and 4 for Charles, 21 and 3 for Short Iron, 15 and 6 for Rowe. But we finally done it, boys. We are promoted to the championship with Bolton Wanderers. Now we've got to make sure that next year we make the right signings to make sure that we can try and fight for promotion once again because I believe this team is good enough to do it. But before we go any further, we are aiming for 25,000 subscribers before the end of next month. So if you're enjoying the video so far, leave it a big old thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. We're now into season three with Bolton and looking at this team, it is fairly obvious where we need to improve it if we want to do well in the championship. The weakest links in our team are our left back Williams and our centre midfielder Morley. Once we sort those positions out, I think we've got a good chance of doing well. And the budget keeps increasing as we've got 12 million to spend in season three. And starting with the fullback, I'm going for Blackburn Rovers, Callum Britton, who's 73 rated at 26 years old. He's got a decent amount of stats as well, and he'll definitely do the job for at least two or three seasons. And for just over three and a half million, we have made him a Bolton Wanderers player. And as for the midfielder, I'm going for Alche's Raul Guti, who's 27 years old. He's 75 rated, and he's got less than 12 months on his contract as well. And because of that, we only had to spend a measly 4.5 million to bring him into this club. And with only 2 million left in our budget, that's our window done. Which leaves the team like this going into our first season in the championship. Now, I've got a very good feeling that we can do quite well. Obviously, our centre-back partnership definitely needs to improve as the season goes on. But I've got faith in them that they can do that. But the midfield's good. Our strikers definitely know how to score goals. I've got a very good feeling about this season. Boys, we are doing so well. We are 7th in the league after 20 six games, we've genuinely got a shot of back-to-back -back promotions. But looking at the stats, it's hard to believe we're seventh in the league with only 11 goals for our top goal scorer. That has got to improve. And with only 2 million to spend, there's not really anything we can do with that money to improve the team. So this is
is the squad that is going to finish our very first season in the championship. And I'll be honest, I know I said we could get back-to-back -back promotions, but that was just me being a little bit biased. We are doing far better than I thought we would. But there is a serious chance that if we continue our form like this, we could get a shot in the playoffs, and that is a massive step in the right direction for us. But it is only January. We have to keep this form going until May. Boys, you are not going to believe where we have finished. We have won the championship. We are promoted as champions. What a goddamn year. We were 7th in January and now we're bloody first. I honestly cannot believe it. I knew the team's good, but I didn't expect to pull this off. And these stats have definitely improved. 29 and 9 for Row, 23 and 3 for Victor, and 13 and 5 for Short Eye. I honestly cannot believe we've been promoted via winning the championship. We didn't even get promoted by winning League One, for God's sake. But we've got to make some very good signings next season to make sure that Bolton Wanderers not only play in the Premier League, but stay there. We are now into season four, and we are officially in the Premier League with Bolton Wanderers. That is a mad thing to say, you know. But now our job is to keep them there. And with the team looking like this, that definitely isn't going to happen this season if we don't make any changes. Now, as mad as this sounds, there's only three positions I really want to improve. I'd like a brand new goalkeeper. I want a new centre-back. And I also want a new midfielder. I think those positions are by a mile our biggest weakness. And once we sort them out, we'll actually have a good chance of surviving the Prem. And the board have been very generous with the money, giving us 70 million to spend in Season 4. And starting with the centre back, I'm going for Jordan Bayer. He's only 25 years old. He's 79 rated. He's six foot two as well. He is literally built for the Premier League. And I personally think we got a great deal as we only had to spend 19 million on him. And in order to survive the Prem, we need a much better goalkeeper, which is why Bryce Samba is the keeper I'm going for. 31 years old, 82 rated. I think he's exactly what we need to avoid relegation. And I'm in a slight bit of disbelief. We only have to spend 15 million to make him a Bolton Wanderers player. And we sorted our goalkeeper and centre-back problem. Now we just need to bring in a better midfielder. But we do have only 26 million to spend, so we're going to have to be very smart with who we bring in. And I have found a midfielder well within our budget. Carney Chuck Wimeka, who's currently playing for Chelsea. He's 21 years old, 75 rated. He's got bags of potential and he's criminally underutilised at Chelsea. And for just £11 million, we have signed Chuck Wimeka on a five-year deal. And we do have £15 million left, but I want to save that until January. And that does mean this this is the team going into our very first season back into the Prem with Bolton Wanderers. And as you can see, Mbete's returned to the club and he's had a very successful loan spell, 74 rated. I'm definitely going to try and make this guy a permanent starting player. I'm very happy and content with how this team looks. Obviously, we're not going to be contending for the top six or top eight football, but we're definitely not going to be in a relegation battle. Okay, maybe I overestimated how good we are. We are 16th in the Premier League and we are only two points above the relegation zone. Yeah, it's officially squeaky bum time. Our stats are honestly shocking. Eight goals for our top goal scorer, man. We need to book our ideas up. And you won't believe this, Mbete has actually submitted a transfer request. I don't know what the bloody hell's going wrong this season, but everything's falling apart. And look, Mbete has been sold for 5.6 million. We definitely need a new centre-back, and I think I know just the player. Kaladu Koulibaly, he is 34 years old, granted, but he's 83 rated, and to survive the Premier League, I think we need someone with this quality in this squad. And he was one well within our price ranges, we only had to spend 11 million to bring him into the team. And with that, our transfer window is done, and this is the team going into the second half of our season in the Prem. Now, call me biased, I'm really struggling to see how this team is 16th in the league. It's not that bad at all. I'm hoping that whatever was happening in the first half of the season gets chucked out the window and we find a new patch of form. Otherwise, we could be saying hello to the championship once again next year. We've just arrived at the end of the season, and thankfully, we survived the Premier League. We finished 16th after 38 games and quite honestly we were more than 10 points clear of the relegation zone at the end of it. But next year this cannot happen. And our attacking trio did perform a little better in the second half of the season. 17 for Victor, 16 for Short Iron, and 16 and 10 for Rowe. But like I said this cannot happen again so next year we have got to pull the punches and make some really good signings. We're now into season 5 with Bolton and we've only been given 49 million to spend this season which makes things a little bit tricky on buying players to actually improve this squad. Now there's two areas of this pitch I really want to focus that money on. We definitely need a new centre back in place of Koulibaly because he will definitely go down in overall this season. And on top of that we desperately need a new midfielder to strengthen that midfield trio. But with just under 50 million this is going to be pretty tricky. And starting with that midfielder I'm going for Ramiz Zaruki who currently plays for Zadiz CF in the Spanish League. He's 28 years old, 81 rated. He's got less than 12 months on his contract as well. And due to his contract situation we only had to spend 16 and a half 
half million. I think that's a great deal. And the centre back to replace Koulibaly, Armel Balakotchop. He's 24 years old, 80 rated. He's got insane strength and speed. I think he's just what we need in that back line. And thankfully, we were just about able to afford him as we had to spend 23.4 million on him. And with only 2 million in the bank, our transfer window is done. And our team now officially looks like this going into our second season in the Premier League. And it fills me with a lot of confidence that we sorted our back line problem out as well as strengthening that midfield. But I'm not blind to the fact we certainly need a new left back and a new striker to partner up with Rowe. But we can certainly sort that out at a later date but right now we're in season 5 and we have got to do better than we did last year otherwise we are completely failing Bolton Wanderers. We are now in January and we are doing so much better than we were this time last season. We are 11th in the league after 20 games. You know what? A top half finish isn't exactly out the cards in the slightest. In short, I has been our best player this season. 10 goals and 4 assists and 23 games. And with only 6 million in the back, there's not really a great deal we can do with that. So this is the team that is going to finish off season 5 in the Premier League. But let's just take a second. This team's really bloody improved this season. Especially Samba, Shortire and Rowe. And when you consider where we were this time last year, we've certainly made the necessary improvements. The question is now, can we keep this up until May? We have just arrived in May and boys, we have finished 7th at the end of this season from relegation candidates last year to top 8 football this year. And we also had a great FA Cup run, making it to the semi-finals before getting knocked out by Villa. There are only a couple of positions holding us back from actually getting top 4 football. We are this close from the Champions League. Our attackers, once again, 21 and 10 for Rowe, 20 and 10 for Shortire and 17 and 10 for Victor. After how badly we did last season in the Premier League, this year's performance in this league has been absolutely tremendous. But we can't settle for just 7th in the league. we got to push even further now, strive for improvements and go for the Champions League next season. We are now in Season 6 and we've got a grand total of 80 million to spend this time. We can certainly put that money to good use this year. And when you look at the team, it is so obvious where we need to improve it. We definitely need a better striker to partner up with Rowe and we certainly need a better left back. I'm telling you now, if we finish 7th last year with this team, once we sort those positions out, we are certainly looking at top 4 football. And starting with the striker, I'm going for a player I've never actually heard of, Baron Yuckler, who's 28 years old, 81 rated, got some really good stats, and I think he'd make a great partnership with Rowe up top. And for 23.3 million, we finally got a better striker to partner up with Rowe. And for that left back, I am bringing in Hungarian Milos Kirkes, who's 23 years old, 83 rated, he is absolutely rapid, and I think he will massively improve the quality in our back line. And he is officially our most expensive signing yet, coming in at 43 million on the dot. And with these players officially in our team, our transfer window is now done. And this is an updated look on how the team looks going into season six with Bolton Wanderers. We sorted out our left back and striker problem. We just need to sort this centre midfielder problem out and there's literally no weaknesses in this starting 11. Now last year, we did finish seventh in the league with a much weaker team. So this season, I'm definitely expecting us to get at least European football. Boys, we're in January and you will not believe where we are. We are first in the league after 21 games, two points ahead of Manchester City. It's mental that this is the outcome of signing a better left back and a striker. Saying that though, the stats aren't actually that impressive. 14 and 2 for Jacques Glitt, 11 and 2 for Shortire, and 10 and 2 for Rowe. But hey, we're top of the league, who am I to judge? And as much as I'd love to improve the team, there's only 9 million in our budget. We can't do anything with that. Which does mean this is the starting 11 that is going to finish off season 6. To say I'm gassed with how we're doing is an understatement. Two seasons ago, we were relegation candidates. Fast forward to now, we are top of the league halfway through the season. I'd be lying if I said to you, I don't want to win the league. Of course I do, but I want European football just a little bit more, and I think that matters a lot more as well. So as long as we get that by the end of this season, I really don't care where we finish. Well, boys, we have unfortunately bottled it. We've arrived in June, and we have finished third at the end of this season. We bought the league, granted, but we have finally got Champions League football with Bolton Wanderers. I am honestly so happy. We have worked so hard to get Bolton to this position. Look at the team, man. They're all happy and so they goddamn should be. Champions League football next year. Here we come. And it looks like Ferry Nyukli was a very good signing. 27 goals, 5 assists and 43 games for the lad. He's an absolute baller. But ladies and gents, we've finally got Bolton Wanderers into European football and it just so happens to be the biggest one out of the three, the Champions League. So hopefully with the Champions League comes a much bigger budget from the board so we can finally start
not bringing in some world-class quality to Bolton. We are now in season seven and it's officially our first season competing in the Champions League. Which means we've got to make sure this team is as strong as possible this year and it's clear as day to see where we need to improve it. Guti's been a good saving but we definitely need a better centre midfielder and I'm also thinking of bringing in a better centre back than Bayern. And the board have delivered 171 million to spend. So first up is the centre midfielder and I'm going for Austrian Nicholas Sewell who currently plays for Salter. He's 27 years old, 84 rate. He's got some bloody good stats and I think we need him in our midfield. And for 45.7 million we have officially signed him on a three year contract. And for the centre back role, ironically another Austrian, Kevin Danso. He's 29 years old, 84 rated. The man is absolutely rapid. I think he'd be a nightmare for strikers all around Europe. And we got him a lot cheaper than I thought we would as we only had to pay 36 million. And you know what's mental? Even after those two transfers, we still have over 65 million to spend. And when you look at the team, there's not really a great many places in that squad you can really improve. But then I realised we've got a very ageing goalkeeper in Bambri, who's 34 years old, 84 rated. I think this is the season he'll start dwindling in overall, which means I'm going to spend the rest of that money on a brand new goalkeeper. And I'm pretty sure I found Navas's regen, Christian Martinez. He's 21 years old, already 85 rated. I mean, do I really need to say more? And we have officially signed him up on a five-year deal for 59 million. And that does leave the team looking like this going into our very first season in the Champions League. In the last three seasons, this team has shown incredible improvements and it hasn't stopped there. Just take a look at how good it's become. Put it this way, it is going to be very interesting to see how we do in Europe this year. And speaking of Europe, we are in Group H alongside Barcelona, Borussia Mönchengladbach and Dynamo Kiev. Now Barcelona probably are the odds-on favourites to top in this group but personally they can have that top spot I just want to get through to the round of 16. We are once again in January and once again we are bloody doing well we're second in the league only two points behind first place Man City. I mean we came close last year maybe we can do it this year and boys we've topped group H beating Barca to that spot and we are flying through to the round of 16 and our strikers are turning up this year 16 for Rowe and 15 for Juggler. And with 9 million left over from the last transfer window I mean it's obvious we can't spend it which means is this is the team going into the knockouts of the Champions League for the very first time. Everybody's happy, everybody's improving, everybody's looking good. I see no reason why we can't do exceptionally well in the knockouts. We're starting off quite nicely in the round of 16, to be fair. Ben Fieke, don't get me wrong, they're a good team, but we could have had way worse than this. We're away from home in the first leg against a fairly strong Ben Fieke team. It's going to be interesting to see how we do 1-0. We take a 1-0 advantage in the second leg, to see the 69th minute goal of Seawold. With us being at home in the second leg, I'm hoping for a little bit more of a convincing scoreline at the end of the game. 1 0 is decent, 2 0 is even better. Courtesy of a brace from Rowe, we're cruising to the quarters. We're in a little bit of trouble now, though. Manchester City in the quarterfinals. I swear, every single rebuild I've been doing lately, I come up against these guys at some point in the knockouts. We are away from home once again in the first leg. It's going to be very interesting to see how we do it wow short I showed up in this game Christ above a draw will be enough to send us to the semi-finals Man City have got to do a lot of work to get back into this time knock us out but they are oh my god Haaland missed a penalty in the 83rd minute and it's thanks to that we are through to the semi-goddamn finals. I love you, Haaland. It is just getting more difficult as the knockouts progress. Real Madrid in the semi-finals, man. I'm ready to give up at this point. We can't get a half-decent team, can we? To be fair, though, we have just not City out. And in real life, City absolutely swamp Madrid. So hopefully, logic would dictate that we'd... Oh, my God. Logic would definitely dictate that we'd beat them 2-1 in the first leg, gain the advantage into the second. It's the biggest game of the season, boys. We are 2-1 up on aggregate. We're away from home at the Bernabeu, though. Real Madrid, I've got all the chasing to do. Are we strong enough to hold on to the lead? Sure, tie Again with the brace, saving our bacon in extra time, sending us through to the final. Boys, we're in the Champions League final with Bolton Wanderers. Come on! And boys, in the final, we play against Valencia. I mean, I don't understand how the hell they got to the final. They're a good team, don't get me wrong, but what the hell are they doing in the Champions League final? Boys, we fell off in the Prem, though. We finished fifth in the league after 38 games. We were five points behind West Ham United, for God's sake. 
Lee. And to be fair, some of these stats are pretty good. 27 for both of our strikers, 18 and 6 for Short Iron, 13 and 12 for Seawold. I'm buzzing and disappointed at the same time. I'm buzzing we made the Champions League final, but I'm disappointed how badly we did in the league. But I suppose we are in the final, and that is the main thing, and some individuals have really stood out. Martinez, 88 rated. Kirkes, 86 rated. Short Iron, 92 rated. And row 91 rated. They've all put up a bloody good performance, haven't they? So far, we've beaten Benfica, Man City and Real Madrid in that order to get to the final, but we've now got to beat Valencia to prove that we are the best team in the world. Valencia are on the attack. Oh, that's a great shot. That is a phenomenal save to bloody save us from going 1-0 down. Short tire received it. He's through. Can he take a shot? That's a great save. Short tire's on the ball. He sees that run. Juggler is in behind. Oh, we're going to power this run outside the box. Oh, my Christ. He has got a rocket of a right foot. He didn't stand a goddamn chance of saving that goal. Bottom left bins. How's your aunt? Short tire is on the ball. He's causing so many problems. Row in behind. Power shot. Oh, it up. Boys. Honestly, our strikers are cheat codes. They are absolute cheat codes. I thought I'd struggle having no wingers, but we're thriving with two strikers up top. Oh, this is lovely. Short tire on his right foot. We're going to dink it. Oh, my God, please. Oh! Juggler, can we send him over the top? Yes, we can. Roe, nobody's catching Roe. I'm sorry. Nobody's catching Roe. He's done. I'm sorry, Valencia. You're a good side, but you do not belong in this final. Oh, that's... Oh, okay. You know what? I take back what I just said. You do belong in this final. You do. Valencia have really turned it up a gear since scoring. They've re... Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. 15 minutes to go. It is officially squeaky bum time. I really need to learn to stop being cocky until I've won the game, man. 3-0 up clearly isn't enough. They've got one last attack. Oh, it hasn't. Oh, my God. The ref doesn't like them. It's 3-2 to Bolton Wanderers against Valencia. The squeaky bum time is over, and we are officially the best team in the world. It has taken us seven long seasons to take Bolton all the way from League One to becoming the Champions League winners. And if you enjoyed this video, Click somewhere right here to watch me do this with Luton Town.